So the final whistle has gone at Ewa Park and it's a humongous opportunity miss for Blackburn Rovers today after a stodgy, uh, lifeless, nil-nil draw against Stoke City. Yeah, uh, the script was written. The script was written for Blackburn Rovers to make a, a huge uh, step forward towards the top six with the, with the results from Tuesday night. Um, all we needed to do was, was have a, a simple, plain old saying, one nil win. That's all we needed. Um, but we couldn't muster it. It was a, it was a dogged old display. Uh, Stoke City are, are like that. You know what? At home, they could be they could be very dangerous. Uh, and away, they could drag their heels like no man's business and really slow a game down, make it all sluggish and all that. And that's what they did today. They made it they made it hard work for Rovers to try and get any any real de decent efforts. Packing the midfield um, with quite a, a stellar a stellar championship level uh, midfield. In fact, on paper, they've got they've got probably one of the better squads in the championship, but it's just not worked for them all season. Um, so yeah, massive opportunity missed. Uh, but today in the championship, what was it? Three, uh, th only three games with goals. I think four goals in total across the board today. I think Leeds got a couple, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I, I think maybe Wigan. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really look at it. I'm, I'm sh literally straight off, straight half time, off, straight full time, straight on the old, uh, on the old video. Um, to, yeah, to let you know my thoughts. But yeah, big, massive opportunity missed. Uh, we did see the, the return of uh, Joe Rothwell. And he, and he, was, he was a bit of, bit of bag of beans, a uh, bit of energy, which we need. Um, but we just didn't get the opportunities. There was a couple chances. I think Armstrong did put the back of the, the ball in the back of the net. Or was it Rothwell? I was actually in a meet in the first 10 minutes. So I've missed the first chunk of this, uh, of, of the match. But, uh, but yeah, no goals to get excited about at all to, to, to push us forward. But what does that do now to us? Uh, it's Swansea on, on the... On Saturday, uh, we are now. I think we're still four points off of playoffs. It's not doom and gloom. It's just not. It's just not ideal. You know what I mean. We do have some monster games coming up. We got Leeds at home. We have got West Brom at home as well. We got Wigan away. It's just always a tricky one as well. So uh, the 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 agenda for Rovers doesn't doesn't look great, especially when we throw points away like this, which which appear to be uh, you know a, a favorable favorable fixture that we should we should probably at least at least put the ball in the back of the net. Um, yeah, so it, yeah, massive opportunity missed, nil deal. The only the only perks you could say is a clean sheet, but but realistically, we should be we should be tucking away three points uh, against Stoke uh, at at home. Um, you know, I'm not no disrespect to Stoke. I I have I actually tipped them at the start of the season to be up there with the with the squad that they have, um, and and the way they ended last season, I thought they would be up up there in the in the top top six for sure. Um, so yeah, in the grand scheme of things, this isn't a terrible result. But for where we are in the season, it's not it's not what we want. We wanted the three points, uh, which would have done us an absolute monstrous uh, uh, move. Because now, in theory, or, or even no no theory, uh, in, in factuality, um, a win on Saturday against Swansea will not put us in the playoffs. A win today would have would have set us up nicely for a, a nice good crack at it on Saturday. But now we just got to win win on Saturday to keep up the pace with the likes of Preston, Bristol City, Brentford, and all that like all that lot sitting in the in the top six at the moment, uh, or, or there or there about but hey it is a point in the right direction it's not ideal clean sheet yes uh the lack of goals and the lack of attacking threat you know what i don't know if if, if we were that bad or is that stodgy or you know the pressure got to rovers or stoke were just were just they were just that good at grinding it out and i feel that it's probably stoke who 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 uh who who had control of it in, in the end um, they do this a lot they they can be it can be a, a bag a bag of spanners away from home um they'll take anything they'll sit back they'll they'll try they, you know with the with the likes of Ince and Powell in the team, you'd expect a bit more creativity and a bit more uh, zing going forward. And they did trouble us a little bit, but you know what? It's a, it's a massive slipped opportunity for us. And uh, and uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to dig dig deep again and and go again on Saturday at Ewa Park as well. This time Saturday afternoon, hopefully we we'll get a bit more better joy this time and hopefully uh, manage to snatch the three points. But yeah, a big step backwards for us. Uh, and I think the the you know after all all our happy clapping yesterday after the results, it just goes to show this championship is wide pissing open. Uh, you can't write anybody out. Look at Barnsley digging in, getting results. Uh, Luton as well getting results as well. You just can't write anybody out. Uh, of, of, of this result. I think Wigan as well Wigan today will put a right bit, a, bit pre, a bit more pressure on Stoke as they look forward to, to their weekend match which I don't know who that is but anyway a little bit later on I'll try and gloss over the cracks on this one and, and try and get some feedback from the fans from the gaffer look at the match stats and all that kind of good stuff uh, it might be a little bit late I'm at work today so we're going to have to roll with it uh, but until then make sure you bang the thumbs up bang the subscribe uh, I'm going to be doing my championship videos as well tomorrow the old predictions for the Saturday games the weekend games so 
Got a lot to do, folks, and I've got to get back to work. Until then, I'm out. Bang the, bang the loving. Subscribe. Thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>